Today we're going to talk about three-way switching. How do you do it? What is it? We're going to go over that today. Hi, my name is Craig Mashad and I am the electrical instructor. Today we're going to talk about three-way switching. You know, a lot of people get confused on, you know, how to wire a three-way switch. Well, today I'm going to take you step-by-step on how to wire a three-way switch. There's a few things that you have to remember. The, a three-way, you're only allowed two three-way switches in a circuit. So with that being said, we really only can feed from one and switch from the other. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, some of you electricians that are out there are probably watching, oh, hey, you can do it. Yeah, there's probably about 20 different ways you can wire a three-way uh, switch. You know, feeding and switching from different locations. But today, we're just gonna talk about the basic three-way wiring. We're gonna go step by step. And this is, we're gonna feed in on one switch and we're gonna switch leg out of the other. It's very simple. We're gonna go over the terms. Uh, we're gonna talk about a couple different things. We're gonna talk about the feed leg. We're gonna talk about the switch leg. And we're gonna talk about what we call the travelers. Okay, Okay. so a three-way, three-way switch. The reason they call them a three-way switch is because we have three terminals on them. And if we follow that rule, those three terminals will always let you know it's a three-way switch. A three-way switch is controlling from two different locations. If we add a four-way in, you know, now we're gonna be able to switch from three locations, but we still have two three-ways and a four-way. So it's kind of a little misconception. I always tell everybody, the terminals you hook up that's how many wires you have there. That's why we call it a three-way switch or a four-way switch and things of that nature, okay? Again, is that the proper terminology? Is that the complete reasoning behind it? Probably not, but you know what? Whatever helps you remember what they are, that's all you can do. So let's, go, let's get into it. Okay, so a three-way switch, you're gonna do a couple different things, okay? You're gonna splice your ground in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice my ground in first. And I'm going to use a greenie. Now the greenie has a little hole in it. Okay, this is a, a typical wire nut. Prefer to use this in residential and residential only. Okay, basically just tie it together, twist it, give it a little tug, tuck it back in your box, okay? Typically in residential, you wanna make sure that your, your bare copper wire is as far back into the, into the box as possible. The next step we need to do is we need to take our neutrals because what we're doing is this is our feed and this is our three wire that's going over to our other switch. So what we're gonna do is we've gotta get the neutral from the feed to the neutral in or the white wire in the th the white wire in the three wire to carry power over to the other switch and then carry it too and I'll show you at the next switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our wire out. We're going to cut it off. We need to have a minimum of six inches of free conductor in our box. Let's place it together. I'm going to make a nice tight joint. Okay, a lot of guys don't really care to do this. They just use the wire nut. I don't, I prefer to do it this way. Put a wire nut on it, give it a little bit of a tug, tuck it back in the back of the box. Get it back as far as you can because in the rough stage, you're gonna always make sure that your wires is as far back as you can because you don't want anything to happen. Now in this situation, you basically roughed it, okay? You have your travelers. You have a black and a red wire that's coming out of your three wire that's going to your other switch. So these are called travelers. This wire here is gonna be your feed wire. This is the wire that's gonna go on what we call a point and I'll show you that when we put it, put it in the switch, okay? So typically what I would do is I would take th these wires and I would fold this wire over so that I would know this would be designated as my point, okay? So then I would take it would roll everything up, put it back in my box. I would roll everything over this way, pop this back in here, push it back in the box. Now I have a complete box. They can put the sheetrock up, they can run the roto zip around it, and life is good. Okay. What we're going to do is we're just going to put the switch on because I want to show you how to actually operate this switch. So 
So my three-way, okay? My three-way has a black screw and two brass screws. The two brass screws are gonna be my travelers. That's what's gonna get connected there. So this black and red will get connected to either one of these, okay? One wire will go here, one wire will go here. My feed wire will go here. Now, on my other switch, this wire is gonna go on here also, but that's gonna be my switch leg going up to my light. So I'm gonna explain this one here and then I'll show you how I just do it in the other side. I'm going to take my three wire and I'm going to land, or my three, my travelers, and I'm going to land it on my device. Remember, you always want to make sure your, your copper ends going in the clockwise position because that clockwise position is what is going to tighten down on that copper and make a nice tight joint. If you don't tighten these up, you can have a bad connection, and a bad connection is a no-no when you're dealing with electricity. So I just connected the, tra uh, the travelers. Now I'm going to connect the feed or the power to my circuit. I'm going to land it on my common or my point or my pivot, depending on who you're dealing with, okay? Then I'm gonna take my grounding conductor, pull it over. The same thing, I'm gonna tighten it down. All right, we just, we just wired the feed side of my switch, my three-way switch. I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, now this one here is my switch leg going up to my light. So remember what I said before, my travelers go on the brass, okay, on either side, this black or discolored screw. Sometimes they'll be like a rose color. That is your point, your pivot, or your common. However you, however you work with somebody, they'll tell you, okay? But I always call this the point. I'm gonna take the switch leg I'm going to tighten it down. Put it back in the box. Okay, so now we're complete. We just turn the power on and let's watch it work. I flip the switch, light comes on, 
flip the other switch, light comes off, come back around. Now, it's important you understand, testing is the most important thing. I can't tell you how many times I've gone into somebody's house, somebody crossed a traveler and a switch leg or a feed, and only part of the circuit works. You gotta keep switching it around until you find it. Or, how many people have gone up and down a stairs, but you can only use one switch because somebody crossed the traveler. So, if you follow this method, you should be able to fix that problem. When you're testing, this is what you should do. Flip the switch on, flip the switch off. Test it about four times. Four times is always a good way to, you know, let you know exactly what the circuit's doing, if you cross something, if something's shorten out or whatever, you know, you're always gonna be able to make sure that your circuit's gonna work properly, okay? This is how we do a basic three-way controlling a light. We're feeding from one location and switching from the other. I hope this video helped. If this video helped, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. Ring the little bell so you get notified that every Friday you're going to be up to date on my new videos. As always, have a great day and be safe.